Julie, the 2,000 page BCA case file includes interviews with witnesses and officers. There are hundreds of photographs, videos and other reports, all which led County Attorney Mike Freeman to believe the officer's use of force was justified. He's got a gun. As officers Justin Schmidt and Ryan Kelly chase Thurman Blevins through the Camden neighborhood, Kelly says Blevins would slow down and look over his shoulder. Yes, you do. Leading him to think Blevins wasn't actually trying to escape. He is not trying to get away from us at all. He is trying to find a spot to stop, and he's trying to find a spot where he can just whirl around and start shooting. Audio recordings of BCA interviews with the officers are included as part of the investigative case file released after County Attorney Mike Freeman chose not to charge the officers in the fatal shooting of Blevins. Officer Schmidt, the one closer to Blevins in the chase, told investigators he saw Blevins put his hand in his pocket before turning into the alley. Then seconds later, saw him pull out his gun. I see the actual firearm clearing his pocket. So it's in his hand. It clears his pocket. So it's coming out. So that's when I stop, I plant, and I aim center mass, and I fire multiple rounds until the subject falls to the ground. Officer Kelly says he fired because he saw Blevins' silver handgun pointed directly at him. And I remember seeing that barrel pointed right at me, and I... Pretty sure he got a shot off. Right here on the video, you can see dust fly on the ground. Look again, a possible shot hitting the dirt a second before Kelly fired. Investigators found a spent shell casing on the ground next to Blevins' body, matching Blevins' 9mm gun and his DNA. The officers were dispatched to the neighborhood after a 911 caller reported a man firing into the air and the ground. That is not safe around here. The reports say investigators found a shell casing matching Blevins' gun in the area where the caller reported the earlier shots. Both officers in their interviews with the BCA said what went through their heads during the chase. When the gun came out, I feared for my life. I feared for my partner's life. To me, he had every bit of intent on shooting my partner and I. I gave him numerous chances to give up. And after the shooting, police tracked down the anonymous 911 caller who, according to the case file, confirmed it was Blevins he was reporting. When asked if he was worried about Blevins firing the gun, he said, quote, a drunk dude in the neighborhood with a gun and kids around, hell yeah, I was nervous. And so that's just part of what's included in this 2,000-page report. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lou.